you know, if you think about it, the one question that helped me take the step, because I, I come from the security zone, I was 40, right? I mean, I felt, I, I didn't feel old, but you're 40 still, right? You have this career. But the one question, and I'm saying this to the listeners as well, you know, mostly that, that the one question you should ask yourself when you want to take that step towards something you, you, you really dream of or, or want to achieve is what's the worst that can happen? And that was the question. As soon as I started writing down what the worst that can happen, that page, that empty page, wasn't so very full, full with a lot of risk in a sense, right? I mean, okay, if you're in Africa, you might starve, right? But in general, okay, you have this mirage, you're, you're living in the best side of town, you have these, this new BMW, my wife had, my ex-wife had a Mercedes, and you had the title of being successful in a safe job, you had a good paycheck, but none of it matters, really. Like, if you think about it, you know, I mean, none of it really matters. And I think that was kind of, at least for me, it was that realization that I can get by with some bread and water in reality. That's, yeah. that, that's, that's where the magic changes. That's, that, yes. You realize how little you really need. Mm-hmm. That's when you're free. And people are happy. You know, people, I mean, the people, I know a lot of people that aren't that fortunate, they don't have millions in their bank account, but they have more wealth than anybody else because they're so happy. They have this bondness in their family. They're doing things together. They're... You know, they're not, as you said, sacrificing their their love and their family life for something else. They don't have that urge to create that huge thing. They, you know, they're happy just being together as a family. And yeah, yeah and I think and I think that's that's really great what you're doing on social media because when you scroll through on the feed, most of it is Lambos, most of it is people showing off, you know, perfect people with with Photoshop faces and videos and yeah, we need more people like you, Danny, out there sharing well, the good message. Well, and all I am is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of everybody once we decide to to just to just heal. Because I I, I can't knock anyone who was there because I was there. Mm-hmm. I was just there two years ago. So mm-hmm. it's just part of the process and part of the journey. And then when people are ready to 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 awaken their highest self and and go in, then you know. Uh, there's people like myself, there's people like you who are ready to help them. And it's just, that's, that's the beauty of life. That's the beauty of humanity is there, there's no right or wrong. You know, it's just, everyone's on a journey. And, and I think that's the beauty of it, you know? So in terms of, at least for the U.S. listeners and, and, and viewers, uh, if they want to start this journey, uh, I guess there's, there's a journey part within themselves, which needs to start first, sure. right? And then sure. when it comes from themselves, it goes into potentially contacting you, right? But what would you recommend people to do? What, what could be some triggers that could kind of help them along the way? Look, um, I would say, n- number one, th- they want to start a morning routine. You know, because w- what happens to so many people is they live life from default. You know, they, they, they wake up, they, they, there's no routine. So if you could start getting yourself in a routine of personal care, I would say that that's the, the, the first place to start because it, it really just determines the rest of your day. So something that changed my life was walking every single day for 30 minutes. I used to be the guy that I would go to CrossFit and I would lift all this weight and, and all these things. And I was damaging my body. Mm. Yeah. And, and what I started to realize, like even running, you know, I may not be able to run when I'm hundred years old because yep. my knees are going to hurt and I may fall and I'm but walking I could walk when I'm hundred. Mm. So I just do now what I can do in the future. So I walk every day, 30 minutes and I, I go out and I connect with nature. And when it gets too cold, cause I heard all of you thinking that I bought myself a little treadmill and I just walk inside, but I, I never skip. I never skip. Number two, I meditate, you know, just something simple uh, on my YouTube channel. I have a little play- playlist of a couple of awesome little meditations that they can grab or just just type in meditation anywhere and you'll be able to find something for 10 minutes and just sit and just be at peace and be silent with yourself mm. number three is hydrotherapy right mm. and that's and this is every morning now it's done wonders for my body and my health i get up and before i go for a walk i jump in a cold shower and i just just you know you know get in a cold shower and it just kind of wakes me up and it, and it gets me going for the day 